Winning Wednesday. Action. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You you weren't here when I debuted my new slate. I love this thing. You see, you seem to like have rolled your eyes every time I've wanted to start a segment with this. I just don't know why you're doing it. You, okay, like, so here's so I, you, you didn't hear and my you're right. I wasn't here. I haven't been here all month. I mean, well, yeah. that's been a source that of shows. consternation. Uh, so won't be here next week, by the way. While you were here and Dan was out with COVID, yeah, I found it difficult to wrangle. Like, when when are we starting? What was the beginning of something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and people ask all, oh, what, is this on air? Is this off air? Is are the cameras ready? Are we rolling? Yep. And rather than Trying to figure that out on the fly, I fi- I wanted to get ahead of it. So on the front end, got my slate going. Although I haven't written, yeah. I haven't written post game show for which production this is. It's stayed on local hour, well, mm-hmm. so I have to, confusing. I have to, I have to change. This is it. confusing. Then. All right, yeah, so it is. Now I'm can looking at my, local can, hour. So what are we little, doing now? Yeah, yeah. I think local yeah. hour. So, yeah, here we go. So I think we're doing the So local I noticed hour. you have Mr. like Billy Gill's director, yeah, your producer, just, right? Let me see. Wrong date. Let me see. What? Yeah, Ooh, wrong day, roll one, day. scene one, yeah. take one. Yeah, update that. Yeah. Have you? Know, do you think people here fancy themselves Hollywood performers? Because like for months now, we've been getting call times as well. Ooh, yeah, it's like weird. the lingo has just become I, as I though do, we're do, yeah. putting on movies. No, no, yeah. not, no. I think yeah. just Mike. I mean, yeah, yeah. Mike, well, no, Mike Woody has the slate now. Yeah, but Woody loves a slate. You know, yeah. Mike yeah, loves the lingo. Guy. You know, Mike's always wanted to be an actor. Like he was an actor, Mike, wasn't he, as a kid? What are you looking for? And there's like a little marker that you write on this thing with. Anyway, oh, right. it's a winning well, hold Wednesday. Hold on, no, we haven't done anyway. that. It's a, it's a winning Wednesday, lads. Anywho. And we have come up with an idea for our... We, we, we've been asked to do a three-team baseball parlay. Uh, and so we have come up with an idea. But uh, one of the things that we've lost, because we've lost some files recently. We had, we had a mishap oh, no. with the files. So mm. we lost the music. So what? I'm going to try I'm gonna try some new winning Wednesday music. See if, see if you guys like this on for size. All right. It's like a little, little, little funky music to play behind the winning Wednesday. That's terrible. Presented by our friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. Now, Stu Gatz, you have the first leg of our three-team parlay for this week. What do you have for us? I am going to take here the St. Louis Cardinals. Now, they're taking on the Dodgers. Dodgers, one of the hottest teams in baseball. I'm pretty certain the start of the Dodgers are trotting out there. Hasn't lost a game yet this year and leads Major League Baseball in ERA. But the Cardinals have a horse, one of the last known horses in baseball on the bump today, and that would be Adam Wainwright. So I am going to take the Cardinals. What is the uh, what is the money line there, Woody? They are plus 135 at home against the Dodgers. I will again remind you that Tony Gonsolin, yeah. whose name I just learned, mm-hmm. is 11-0. With an ERA of 1.62 and a whip of .80. And I'll remind you that Wainwright is a horse. I am taking the Cardinals. They are six games above 500. They are 27 and 18 at home. That's where they're playing today. I like the Cardinals. And you get a little money there. I like that. They're not the favorite. The underdogs. Billy Gill is in charge of leg two of our parlay. Billy, what do you have for us? Wow. Leg two, Sugats. I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to take the Rockies. Money nice. line over the San Diego Padres. Joe Musgrove is starting for the Padres, and he's going up against Chad Cool. Joe Musgrove, while well, 8-2, and two, 2.09 ERA, 98 strikeouts, and a .93 whip. It's been impressive. Mm-hmm. I, too, think he's due. Really? Why Why are we I picking against the best? Due. You know we're what? I love that. the best my... starters in baseball. What are we doing? Because they're due to lose. That's exactly why. Right. Yes. Yeah, can't because... win them I mean, all. the other guy, Goslin's really 11. Hey, Goslin's 11 and 0. He goes five innings. He's due to lose. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please. All right. Started on him. I would be so scared to bet against the Dodgers ever. Uh, there's a horse on the hill, though. And it's Wayne Wayne Wednesday, yeah. yeah. One of the last living horses. Well, you wanted I mean, to make well, no, Musgrove, of you wanted to make Musgrove oh. one of the last living horses. Are we betting against him or are we betting with Musgrove? No, no, we're, we're going against, against, yeah, going yeah, against yeah, Musgrove. He's yeah, yeah, he's we're going we're against going, him. We called Chad Kirkshire cool, and asked him if he was a horse. And, yeah. and Kirkshire said he's not a horse. Well, then he's not a horse. Go, then why would right. we take him? Exactly. Exactly. All right, so we're betting against two great starters. Roy is in charge of leg three. Who are we taking tonight? All right, we got the Astros and the Angels tonight. I am taking the Astros. The Astros wow. are putting on the bump Christian Javier. He's pitching against Sohei Otani. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Wait, so we're, we're, so wow, we're, a parlay against Otani, Gosling, that's right. That's right. and Musgrove. What are we doing? <laughs> Winning money. <laughs> this parlay, the Cardinals at plus 135. 
going against Tony Gonsolin. The Rockies at plus 150 going against Joe Musgrove. And the Astros at minus 105 going against Shohei Otani. They are favored, admittedly. Mm. Uh, this parlay comes out to about 10 and a half to 1. Really? Wow. Courtesy oh. of our friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. So if you bet $100, if you bet 100 not that you should, by the way. Right. Okay. If you bet 100 you win 1047 Wow. Oh. I'm going to do it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So you're going to put in the, the, goof parlay. Betting, the betting against aces parlay. Yes. What are we doing? Well, listen, we're betting Winning against Wednesday. aces, but we have some aces. Like Wayne writes an ace. Yeah. I'm betting against an ace with an ace. What? How can you bet against someone named Chad Cool? A couple of aces cutting it up. How do you have, what do you think Christian Javier of the Houston Astros is? A pitcher. Yep. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He does have a good strikes, his, yeah. Is he all right? Is 3.01 tied there you for 17th go. in Major League Baseball in strikeouts? Exactly. All right. So, They're again, favored. for those of you joining us here on a winning Wednesday looking for our tremendous picks, we've gone against several aces. We've gone against Gonsolin and the Dodgers, Musgrove and the Padres, and Otani and the Angels with the Cards, the Rockies, and the Astros, a parlay that comes out the 10.5 to 1. Good luck and enjoy the massive winnings from our goof parlay, our garlay. Thank you.